Hello, Thintopia fans. I want to introduce my next interview, Missy Gordon, a.k.a. Whole Wheat Sandwich on YouTube. She is an active participant in the YouTube weight loss community, and since September of 2009, she has lost roughly 70 pounds. And she continues to be an act, take an active role in the community and continue to support many people. And she was actually requested by one of my viewers to be interviewed. Not only has she been successful at losing weight, but she is also an accomplished artist. She uh, plays the guitar and has a beautiful voice. So I encourage you, after watching the interview, to head on over to her channel. I'll put a link in the description. And you can go check out and learn about her a little bit more and uh, subscribe to her. And I encourage you to get to know her because she is an awesome person. I'm looking at your your profile here. It says your highest weight was 260 pounds. And mm -hmm. you had like a, a breakthrough moment where you decided you needed to change something. Tell us about that. Oof. Well, I think we've all had a lot of breakthrough moments. But mine wasn't really anything epic. It was just I felt this thing come over me where I just felt peace about stepping foot into the journey, you know, like a feeling where I could actually do this and it's not just some fantasy, like I want to look like Paris Hilton or something. Right. So mm -hmm. I, this wasn't the first time you thought that you wanted to lose weight. Um, I'm looking at your profile and it talks about how you actually struggled a lot with food addictions in, in many forms. Uh, yeah. So this moment wasn't like something... And how was this different than any other moment you decided you wanted to lose weight? I think it was because this was also the moment where I started to get better emotionally. Um, I was depressed for many, many years. Um, I was very suicidal, and this was when I was starting to get my life together, and I figured, you know, what better way to really do something than to change my body as well. Okay. So what kinds of things, so obviously it's almost like there was a journey before the weight loss journey, <clears throat> the journey to kind of get emotionally and, and psychologically in the game, it sounds like. So yeah. what kinds of things did you, I mean, did you proactively take that journey or was that kind of just something that happened naturally because of outside influences? You know, actually, I started to watch a lot of YouTube videos. I I was involved in YouTube, you know, with other things not related to weight loss, kind of artsy stuff. But um, I looked up one day, just I don't know, just random things that I typed in, you know, healthy ways to lose weight, etc. And then all these videos came up, and I started to see a pattern that they weren't just you know dietitians, etc. They're people out there vlogging and I and once I started commenting more I kind of got involved in the community and started making my own too. So it was kind of a you made friends with other people with similar desires sounds like. Yeah. <clears throat> so you you started to realize hey I'm not the only person like me out there. You, YouTube is actually kind of like was a key point all the way from the beginning even from before you really started to lose weight it sounds like. Yeah definitely for sure that was that was the thing that has pushed me through this the whole way right. because people are supporting you and even when there's people in your real your real life who aren't right. supporting you you have hundreds of people there so it sounds like you were in, in artsy stuff it looks like you make a lot of music I actually was listening to one, one of your recent songs that you're singing on there and it's actually really really good and uh, so do you do that do you just do that on the side just as a hobby or do you uh, do that in uh -huh. any way professional well, I'm. Let's hope that's one day professional. But um, I don't. I've I've been involved in music my whole life. My dad is a musician, and um, I just started playing guitar last year. So I'm not a pro, but it's right. definitely nice to be able to play something, not just sing. Right. Well, yeah, and you sing well as well. And I think I was playing it the other day, and my wife, you know, she didn't see the video what I was watching, but. She was like, oh, this, that sounds like that one, you know, I can't, I can't remember what she said, but I don't know if she said it sounds like Jewel, or she just, yeah, she doesn't know art, she doesn't know music artists very well, so when she hears something, it's, it's, uh, she recognized, you know, the voice, that it was actually, you know, some, similar to somebody else's. Yeah. So, so, okay, somebody's brand new into YouTube, um, what should they do when they join YouTube if they want to, you know join the weight loss community? Um, I would say 
first kind of feel it out. Don't make a video, um, you know, your first time looking at it. Look at other people's videos, see what they're doing, see if there are any challenges, etc. That's how I got involved. I, like, uh, probably my first month I got involved in a challenge, a okay. Christmas challenge. And that's what really made me a lot of friends because I went into Stick'em and really joined the community then. So. Okay. So joint cha- and there's always challenges, always challenges going on up now. Yeah, I'd, I'd say someone's always doing some kind of thing on right. there. So. We got, and they're all very different too. Mm. And everybody does. You, you find out that everybody does it in a different way. Some people like to try raw diets. Some people tr- like to try low carb diets. Some people, let's see here, a lot of flushes, a lot of uh, cleanses on YouTube. Um, what, I mean, what has worked for you? And uh, just yeah, explain for us what what how you decide what you wanted to do as far as you know diet and and exercise and and uh, how it worked. Well, I'd say way back in the beginning, um, before I started making YouTube videos, me and my grandma actually went to a dietitian, um, and I started to pick up a few things. I bought a few books. I well, let me show you this. Um, this is this is like. Cool classic old me, this kind of stuff, you know, calorie tracking, um, just nothing natural, just trying to lose weight, and as I did more and more research, I started to come across these types of books. Oh, I've seen that book, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, this is, um, I've also read In Defense of Food, and that is, like, it's one of my favorite books. This one just is a bunch of tips, like, um, how do you eat naturally? And um, this kind of stuff is what actually really propelled me to lose lots and lots of weight because um, I was starting to think about food in a more, um, I guess you could say, artistic way, you know, more like gourmet foods, more natural raw foods. And that's what really interests me because all those, you know, at least for me, the 100-calorie snack packs and all that yeah. stuff, it doesn't appeal to me. Right. So once I figured out that I just, I love eating, you know, natural foods and trying all these new things and teas, and it just made me feel so good. Right. And, yeah. So does so. that book share recipes then that so to help you incorporate the healthy food? It doesn't, so let me give you an example. It doesn't share recipes but it'll it says things like um, don't eat anything your great grandmother wouldn't recognize as food. There you go. Things like that, and then he gives these short you know summaries on why and you know don't eat things that turn your cereal your cereal milk color. Things Those like that. Those are the that. best ones. Come on. <laughs> when I was <laughs> no. a kid, though, when I was a kid, that was the kind of the way. It was like, I mean, if it turns the milk a color, like if it's chocolate cereal, that was the good kind. Because after you're done, you just drink the milk. Yes, I know. <laughs> but it's, it's interesting how your your um, psychology of food can change, and it, it does. It work. Like I think that is ultimately the way to succeed. Is you have to change the way you look at food, and you have to change the way you. Uh, you really eat. You can't. You, you can't just go on a diet. You can't just say, "Hey, I'm going to try and eat less." You have to really yeah. change what you, how you see food. Is kind of what I'm getting the the idea that it's a, there's a lot of psychology involved in weight loss. It's anybody can eat less food for mm. a given amount of time. If somebody said, "Okay, for this next six weeks, I'm going to eat less food," but then yeah. what's going to happen after? Yeah, you gain it all back, probably thirty pounds more as well. Right. And so that's kind of what happens. All right. Now, let's... You, okay, so you've been in the weight loss community for, wow, looks like a year, a little over a year, and like, yeah, yeah something like that, 15 months or so. What should people avoid in the weight loss community? I mean, what... Drama. Drama. Okay. Um, people, especially us folks who are probably a little bit emotionally off, being overweight, you know, people get offended, people um, really can start things that I've just not gotten involved in, and, you know, that's that's just the opposite of what we're trying to do, so I'd say, you know, just try, if there's drama, just kind of steer away from it, it'll pass. Right, and I'm I'm kind of that, I'm the same way, I, I know I saw on Facebook the other day there was some, a little bit of drama, Yeah. just like, and I, and I made a comment just, you know, 
almost innocently saying, hey, this is what I noticed, and then now I'm almost involved in the conversation of uh, <laughs> yelling back and forth. Well, I don't know if it's yelling. It's on It's on the internet. It's not. Uh, it's, t- it's typed letters. <laughs> All right. So now you're not you're not done on your weight loss journey. What nope. is your goal? Um, I do not have a weight goal. I have um a few ideas of what I want when I get to my whatever my goal is and that is definitely involved with my running. Um I want to run a marathon. And to me when I run a marathon, I will be that'll be a big step for me. And there in my opinion, there's no really, you know, end or goal that I have because you're always growing throughout your life. And, you know, I might be a raw foodist 20 years from now. I don't know, hopefully, but. It's a, it's a, it, I think it's, you know, we never, we think, oh, I can never do that. That would be so hard. But in the same, mm-hmm. in both being a raw foodist and, and running a marathon. But once we give ourselves that, that uh, credit to saying, yes, I can do that. I am, I am able to do that all of a sudden we then start doing the things that will get us there. It's yeah. almost like we have to decide that that's possible and convince ourselves that it's possible. Let's see. So exercise, you do mostly running then for for exercise? Yes, right now. Um, I When I go to the gym, I do the elliptical, um, but I'm not, I'm not doing any muscle training, but I'm starting P90X next oh, month, so... Wow going to be crazy. Yeah, I've heard lots of good things about it that it, it even if you're already in shape it's hard, I've heard. So Exactly. So wish me luck. Yeah. Well then but then also that if you're not in shape you just modify you do what you can. And yeah. Then, and then so it pushes you to your extreme limits, but uh you will progress over it. And that's the, that's kind of what I've noticed is that there's any workout plan will work, almost any diet will work. You just have to choose the one that you will do. It sounds mm-hmm. like yeah, I agree. Let's see here. So you would you say that you've been taking it slow and steady, or did you lose a lot and then plateau? Um, I mean, I've had a few, I guess you'd say, hiatuses along the way. Right. Um, but, I mean, I've lost almost 90 pounds in less than two years. So, I mean, I consider that pretty steady, but also I think I've been doing pretty well for the time period. Awesome. I I would say ninety pounds in just over a year is amazing. Um, so that's it's definitely. I wouldn't say that's super slow, but you know, I think that's kind of that's kind of the same pace I'm going. Is I started uh, started about let's see March of last year, and uh, I've been making videos on YouTube. Like I started making videos on YouTube back in May of last year. And I wouldn't say that I embraced the YouTube community. I was kind of this guy that was just like, yeah, I'm going to start making videos. And I, you know, I started talking to a few people on there. Uh, back then it was like Justin Jill and uh, below oh. the, the below the yellow line people. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And so I started a little bit then, but I, I, I didn't, um, I, I didn't stay on it very long. I, I was on it for a few months. I still continued my weight loss in some ways. I, uh, my tool has been weight loss competitions and uh yeah mm-hmm. so it's just kind of similar to challenges a lot of the challenges don't aren't really competitive more than just hey let's you know do this together challenge mm-hmm. but um anyway so then i back in october i had gained a little bit of it back and i said okay i'm recommitting again and i'm doing again but i've lost let's see here 30 pounds just in in, in almost a year so oh. it's, it's pretty slow That's... but i i hope to lose a couple you know 20 pounds by you know by the summer I just I decided I went out for a run and, and struggled with two miles. Really struggled with two miles. I think I might have even had to walk a little bit on that first time back in, and uh, so it's just like wow. I used to be able to run a half marathon. I mean, I just did it one time. I, I prepared, and that was almost a bad thing. So here's a little word of warning for when you end up doing your half marathon or your next marathon is. For me, and this isn't maybe not going to be for you, but for me, I I worked hard at that to get to that half marathon, and it was during a weight loss competition that I was doing, and it was successful. I made it. I did the half marathon, and I lost some weight. But then after the half marathon, I was pretty burnt out, and I was like, after running so much every week, like every day, and then every weekend I'd run an hour to an hour and a half. I was like, okay, I don't want to do that for a little while now, especially after after running the the half marathon. 
So then I just stopped. And then it's like all that hard work went down the drain. Yeah, that's happened to me too, man. It's awful. So, so that, okay, I want to actually go back. We only, you know, only a couple more minutes here, but I, you know, after, after watching your first video, I, in, I have to tell you how I, I enjoy how real you are and how, um, I don't know. I mean, obviously I think you're, you're, you're not, I don't know how to explain it. Your videos are real. That's all I can say is they're real. So that first video, and that was my first time watching it just before the interview, is you were pretty nervous. You had, you know, I could tell that there was a lot of just self-conscious things like, why am I doing this? Mm -hmm. But what the heck, I'm going to do it because, you know, there, I, what else have I got to lose, right? So what, tell us about that, how you decided to make that first video. Because I wonder how many people, you know, millions of people watch YouTube. But how many people post videos? So how do we go from that threshold of because I'm you know I in my my own mind I know how I kind of said okay I'm just gonna do it because I I was like how can I ever just talk to the camera? How did you kind of get to that point where you decided that, all right I'm gonna make a video? Honestly, I think I kind of tapped into the whole mentality of um, kind of teaching others teaches yourself right. you know and I kind of wanted to learn as I was going, not say I know exactly what to do, but kind right. of just sharing what I'm going through. And then I think by that, I kind of just learned. Awesome. And, yeah. I think that's so. exactly my, that's, well, I, I mean, obviously it's different. We're all different. But my reason for making videos is, one, and, and it's changed as I've made them because as I made them, part of it is just, it's a daily, it's a daily journal. Well, not that you don't have to make the videos daily, but it's a, I get to evaluate how my day went or I get to evaluate how my week went. And that's good for you. That's, that's part of a, a, being successful is being able to sit back and analyze and review what you've done and, and where to go next. And uh, this kind of just gives you that opportunity because it's hard to find people in real life to, to do that with, to be able to share what you've done and, and where you're going. Yeah. And let's see, any YouTubers out there, in, you know, you don't have to, you know, shine, but who's your favorite YouTubers that you would recommend to somebody new to the community? I would always, always recommend Mandy choosing to lose. Um, she's, she's a really wonderful person, someone that you can really count on to have a heart at all times and I, I really appreciated her just genuine nature along the way I mean she there's some people I watch that are just like completely um, involved in everything like running and hiking and all that I get inspired by that but at the same time people like Mandy watching her and seeing her heart is more inspiring to me than seeing people who are really out there you know you know what I mean yeah and it's and she's very active in the community. I've noticed. Yeah, as, very. I mean, mostly like on Facebook. I'm sure. And I have actually haven't ever gone to a stickum um, uh, session yet. So I, I will definitely after watching this video or doing this interview, I'm thinking maybe I should give it a try. Um, well, oh, you don't hear much about it until you go to the Facebook page. Once you go to the Facebook page, you start to realize okay, there's this act. This community is more than just making videos on YouTube. It's it's a community. It's people really actively sharing on on uh, Facebook. That group's great, though. I mean, that's a new thing. Yeah. Um, actually, Melissa, Extremely Melissa, on YouTube made that group okay. and a few months back. And since then, we've all been connecting even more. So, right. Well, then I think I think it might have been Mandy or Melissa who then posted everybody's uh, Xbox gamer tags so that then we'll take it to <laughs> the next level. So anybody who has an Xbox to connect can actually get on the Xbox Live and play. That's Greg, too. Greg's always saying Yeah, I, I notice in his videos, his workouts are usually Xbox workouts. And I'm like, you know what, that's a fun thing. And I have an old Xbox, and I keep telling myself, maybe I should get a Connect. Maybe I should get a Yeah, the Connect is cool. I should think about it. Yeah, do you have one? Yeah, I do. Okay. I, don't, I don't have any, um, I have a few dance games. I don't right. have any of those cool like weight loss ones yet, but. Yeah, I, I think getting the dance ones and maybe sports one. I want to get a, they don't, it doesn't look like they have a baseball one, but I wanted to get a baseball one. Uh, so my son can can play baseball. But, yeah. Uh, anyway, I've enjoyed this this interview, and I look forward to watching more of your videos and seeing you in the community. And I would recommend to anybody who's not in YouTube to come get over here on YouTube 
and just start looking at people's videos. All you have to do is search my weight loss journey or uh, there's, you know, any, if you search for any weight loss thing, pretty soon if you start watching videos, seeing who's leaving comments and going to their channels, you're going to mm -hmm. get involved. And it's, it's just kind of been a process for me. Yeah. So anyway, I uh, really appreciate it. Any last words of advice you want to share? Keep going. Just keep, keep going. Awesome. Well, and that, that's just it. No matter what bad days you have, bad weeks, bad months, just keep, keep at it. Never stop. All right. Well, I want to thank you so much, Missy, and uh, I want to say have a great day. You too. I'll let you know when the video is posted, and uh, you can share it. All right. All thank right. you. Talk to you later.